Good afternoon, dorks. How's it going? This is Unchowder. I'm here. We're doing this. We're playing Dwarf Fortress. If that's a surprise, then you must be new here, because that's, like, all I do. <laughs> um, I have some things to share with you, so we're just going to hop right into it. Because um, I did some planning off stream, like I, like I said I would. I was responsible and everything. Uh, yeah, uh, the main thing that I want to work on today is an infrastructure project, which should be fun. Um, why didn't that turn off? What is wrong with everything? Okay, I'll fix that later. <laughs> um, this was something that was mentioned by a viewer uh, several, several streams ago at this point. Um, in our, our previous fortress, when we were kind of thinking of plans for this fortress. And the concept of... Having a way to move and control beasts. And, like, forgotten beasts. And mega beasts. And all the big scary things that can show up. And, especially in our caves. Um, and that, that thought kind of stuck with me for a little bit. And I, I like, I like that idea. I like having infrastructure so that we can put big nasty things exactly where we want them to be whatever whatever that means uh so we're gonna start on that uh and, and this will be <laughs> quite experimental um i haven't done anything like this before so we're gonna figure this out as we go but the main thing the main reason i want to embark on this right now uh is for the part of it that you're looking at right now uh, and this is going to be a silk farm. Because we have a forgotten beast down in cave one. Around here somewhere. Yeah, here. This is a uh, jeez. Demon Mind, the Dreams of Depth. Very cool. Uh, but this is a special forgotten beast because one, it's killed a different forgotten beast. Uh, but also, it has webs. It's a web-slinging forgotten beast. Super cool. Uh, ability to stand somewhat impaired, motor nerve damage. So maybe that means it'll be a little bit slower. That might be convenient for us here. But the idea is we're going to try to lure this beast into our entrance area. This is, yeah, this is all, this is all, this is inside, this is outside. Um, but our little entrance to the cave is up here. And I'm going to try to trap him in here. Um, we need to... We're going to have to hook up a bunch of levers. There's going to be a bunch of levers today. Uh, but ultimately, I'm going to try to lure him in here. We're going to drop the floor out. We're going to trap him in here. And eventually, the, it will end up in this little holding pen. Um, and I'm going to be digging a whole bunch of tunnels. There's one here that goes up and there's one that goes down. I'm going to link all three cave systems together, essentially. You can see this is just kind of a, uh, this is going to be a ramp spiral kind of a situation. And it goes through some of our quarries, so we'll have to build some walls, which is fine. Um, but it, then it's going to come down to our second cave and have a similar kind of a deal. And it'll open up here. And then again, this is going to keep going down. It goes all the way down to the third cave. Uh, and then conversely, from the first cave... Yeah, we're coming up along here, mostly going along the edges. We're going to end up in here. And this structure itself will be for farming webs. I did a little bit of research on how that works, and we'll see. <laughs> um, I've definitely never done this before, and there's some kind of... I don't know, this isn't exactly what I was seeing, but this is the same principles as I was seeing, and, and also some kind of tossing in some information that came from different sources. So, well, the idea here is Beast will come in, and we're going to trap it in here, and we have some, you know, control mechanisms. Ultimately, we want the Beast to be in this column here, right here. And then this will be fortifications, and then this is going to be a pit with a retractable bridge over it, and then over here, we're going to have a cage with a critter. And that will prompt the Forgotten Beast to be, you know, sitting here. 
and seeing the critter and then just spit webs everywhere. And then all the webs land on our little retractable bridge. And then beneath it, there's gonna be a second retractable bridge. And then beneath that is gonna be an actual room for where the webs end up. And then right across that room is gonna be, uh, we're gonna put a loom in a stockpile. And that's gonna be where the, co the collect webs job will come from. So they're just gonna be coming back and forth across this little hallway to, to grab all the webs. Um, and there's a couple of reasons for the for why it all looks this way. I'm gonna go ahead and unpause even. Because people have jobs to do, I'm sure. Um, plus I designate all this stuff, so they'll, they'll start working on it. But the upshot of what I saw was that uh, if you can get webs to land on a bridge and then you drop them onto another bridge, then they start stacking. I, the, the impression that I got is that if I just put, you know, a floor here and the Forgotten Beast was just spitting out webs onto the floor in general. See, they're already going to come in and build all these, build all our walls for us. Excellent. Um, in a very sporadic fashion. <laughs> um, and do this just so we have, just so we don't get someone trapped in here. Um, but if it sounded like if a forgotten beast is just spitting webs onto the same tile over and over again, you don't get a stack of webs there. You just, they, I think they kind of destroy themselves is the, the sense that I was getting. Oh, they built these real fast too. Jeez. Okay. Well, good. Um, but something about if you have webs on a bridge and then another web falls onto it, then they stack? Is what it was sounding like. Um, and, and it has to land on a bridge specifically. Like if they just fall onto the ground, then they won't stack. But if they fall onto a bridge, then they stack. And then you can like every once in a while uh, retract the second bridge. And then all those stacks of webs fall down into your collection. That is my current understanding of how that works. We will see how my understanding evolves after everyone dies. <laughs> um, yeah, so so that'll be good. Um, yeah, there's a couple other things we want to put. I want to put like a door in here, just like that. Um, and I'm also gonna put a bridge here. I was gonna open this way, and it's just gonna go like this. I'm already out of. I already used all the the rock salt. That's fine. I have keeping my jet for above ground stuff. Um, seriously, just needs two. Just normal rock salt. Is that right? Yes. So the idea here is that uh, when this is down, the forgotten beast here will be able to see the creature here and shoot webs. And then, you know, if we need to get in here and, you know, service the goat cage or, you know, do anything realistically, we can raise this bridge and that will just block line of sight. And then the forgotten beast will just be Chilling in here won't have any direct access to be webbing any of our people or, or our creatures, so that's a that's our safety. Uh, and yeah, um, so my 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 first intention is to trap our webbing forgotten beast and lure it into you know here in particular and trap it between these two bridges and just have it live in there. And we'll we'll farm all the silk we can get out of it, and we'll have silk forever, and we'll die forever, and everyone will be happy, and it'll be great. Um, but I figured that since if I'm going you know that far out of my way to make this, might as well go whole hog and 
you know, make a whole infrastructure system for the beasts. So that's what's going to happen. Um, you'll notice that we have our, our ramp coming from below here. And, you know, it dumps into here. Uh, but there's also a little bypass and it keeps going. And this goes all the way up. Um, yeah, through here even, um, goes all the way up to the surface and, and into here. I'm excited to see if we can make this work, but this is going to be our beast storage. These are going to be the beast rooms. Um, like we'll have, you know, one open and then we'll kind of kite one in and then trap it between and, and it'll get, they'll get stuck in there and they'll be fine. But yeah, um, and then this goes all the way up to the surface. You can see they've already built my little closet here. I should have gotten rid of the trap that was there and moved it over there. They're so dang fast. Holy cow. Uh, we're going to put a little bridge here. Like that. It just needs to be that big. That's fine. And there we go. Oh, these got made out of rock salt. Is that what I want? Might disassemble these. <laughs> just to make them prettier. Uh, the surface should look nice. Let's let's make those out of rock salt before we get too far into things. Um, and you'll notice my my digging commands haven't quite worked yet, but that's mostly just because I think there's a lot of digging to be done. So it's gonna be because we're also we're also hunting for magma at the same time because magma's good. We we got man, we've. Yeah, I got a ridiculous third cave. But I think right at the... Oh, that's a bloodthorn. Oh, that's cool. I don't think we had these in the last fortress. Oh, that's good. That's some deep rock stuff. Uh, let's see here. And then if we go down far enough, I swear we saw... Jeez. Right? Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Because there was warm. Yeah, warm. Cool. And, it, and that's below even. So yeah, I'm gonna... We're gonna mine out some of this and we're gonna figure out where the worm is uh, so that we can have a incinerator. That's my main goal for that. Um, that should be good. Uh, Kabu is fighting some crundles. Have fun. What is it? It's spitting? Where'd you go? Does this one fly? Where'd it go? Jabber. Kabu. Yeah, it's spitting. What do you do again? Deadly spittle. It's spit and spittle. And it's deadly. Well named. I guess while that happened, I'm gonna fix everything. Why this was behaving so well before. There we go. Come on, we're saving. Perfect. I'll not touch anything. So yeah, uh, that's kind of my main big project that we're starting. Yeah, our, our, our beast ways, I think is what we were calling them. So that'll be fun. Mostly a bunch of digging and wall making for the moment, but... Ah, I'm back. <laughs> Once we get all of that dug and constructed, then we'll start doing some fun things with scary beasts. That'll be good. Other than that, uh, we have 
a lot of stuff going on. Look at all this. Masterwork scepters. Llamas getting stung by bees. Owen. Auto farm. That's a thing I was meant to deal with. And it didn't. Those got disconstructed, deconstructed. And we'll do this out of jet blocks. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then it will need a roof, of course. I just. Do that and then we'll put it back up. Um, but yeah, oh look, we have our our patroller. You have bolts, holy cow. It's working, it's working. Around, around he goes. Perfect. Okay. Uh, and I'm hoping our miners... We were having some issues with things getting mined in a timely fashion before. We have two legendary miners. Of course, one of you is also a bookkeeper and a planter. Why are you a planter? You are also a legendary planter. We also have two other... Like, okay, you don't need to be a planter. Kib has probably been with us for a while. And then herbalist, Kib. No, uh, plant gatherer, that's right. Let's do not you, but yes, you. Of course, you are a recruit. Uh, planter. Planter can be gather. That's fine. Okay. Hopefully that'll free up some of the digging tasks for us. Jugs. Do we really need that many jugs? We probably have a whole bunch of honey. Those are tools. A whole, a whole bunch of jugs. Holy cow. Holy cow. of hives, but that's on purpose. Mm -hmm. That's right. And Auto Farm wanted to make everything. That's super cool. Uh, we'll, we'll let it. It's summer, so we're doing dimple cups. We don't have when do pigtails grow? Because we don't have seeds. Yeah. Because they have not been processing them. There's only one here. We're gonna have to like import pigtail seeds. It's like the thing I want right now. Do they really need to make that many dimple cups? We have, uh, I mean, whatever, <laughs> it's fine. That doesn't seem necessary, but whatever. 
And look at all our critters. Oh my goodness. Frail and strong. Okay. Sure. Um, meat is happening. Slaughtering is happening. Uh, needs unused dyed yarn cloth. Right, so they're not they're not being able to make the clothing stuff because they don't have dyed cloth. Uh, but we are making dye, at least. Oh, where is... Where would that live? It's not just plants, right? The pea. Where does pea live? Plants. Look at all this barley. We have so much barley. Holy crap. Jeez. Pump helmets. Yeah. And our single pigtail. Thank you. Okay, so we have dimple cups. I don't know where dimple dye lives in that screen. Uh, but we're we're working on it should be like a bunch in here even yeah so they should be they should be working on it yeah die claw okay so we have some claw yeah 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 we have a bunch of silk specifically should put in some orders for using the silk since that's what we have Oh, here's some wool. A whole bunch more stuff to be dyed. Okay. Cool. Uh, you'll notice I've also done some rearranging of the stockpiles. Uh, this is now the leather and this is the bone stuff, so all of these are going to be buried up here uh, as they go. And I've also rearranged some of the rock stuff. Um... Yeah, here's fuel. Here's uh, this is all. This is all gonna be iron ore, and then this is all gonna be fuel. So some of these just got bigger. Uh, nothing too crazy there. And then yeah, all the food. So much food. Spin thread complete. Mostly you're just going to give them a chance to work on all those jobs. We also have paper. Well, pigtail was just going for paper. We're not actually making clothes out of pigtail. But I do want to grow pigtail for paper. However, pigtail is not the only paper plant. Pigtail is the only below-ground paper crop. All of the other ones are above-ground crops. You can make paper out of cotton, flax, hemp, jute, kenaf, rami, and rope reed. And we've seen at least one of those. Pretty sure. Not barley, alfalfa, blueberry, plum helmet, sweet pod, corn bush, rat weed? No, rope reed. <laughs> okay. We have almost a thousand whip vines. Oh my god. Holy cow. And that's not even, that's like raw whip vine. That's not even counting what we've already ground into flour and stuff. Jeez. Since we're growing all this stuff, I want to go back here in the kitchen and make sure this is all the way we want it. 
We can eat alfalfa. What? Do people actually eat alfalfa? What would that even taste like? Sure, you can do that. <laughs> brewing the barley. Uh, brewing the bayberries. Both to the cranberries, both the fisherberries, longland grass. Pigtails were not brewing. Correct. Uh, plump helmets, potato, quarry bush leaves, ratweed, sweet pie with vine. Okay. Are we brewing? We are brewing whip vines. We are not cooking the whip wine. We are gr grinding it into flour, and then that will be used in prepared meals. But you can't just cook whip vines as a solo ingredient, I guess. We've actually not seen rope reed. I thought we did. We've seen rat weed, which is not for paper. Rope reed. Do we have rope reed seeds? That's that's really the question. Seed. Ratweed seed. Dimple cup spawn. Long yams. Rope reed seeds. Perfect. Not much, but some. Okay. Um, I'm gonna come back into here. Into auto farm. So I messed with this a bit last stream, and then it added a whole bunch of other stuff. Like we have, we I don't, I don't care about all the other stuff. I care about like four crops total. Um, so dimple cups, pigtails, whip vine, rope reed. Care about all those. I want to maintain levels of all of those. Because rope reed and pigtail we can use for paper. Dimple cup is for dyeing cloth. And then whip vine is our cash crop, essentially. The rest of this is just, like, bonus neat stuff. I don't need DF hack to be maintaining levels of it for me. So, how do I... How do I fix that? Uh, need to like go R. What was. What's the syntax here? Threshold number type, 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 type. Okay. Can I just do. Threshold zero. Barley, bitter, bitch. Does that actually work? And then I do auto farm. Then our most recent. Limit zero. Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay. So I just need to do all these at once. Uh, wild carrot. Hello! How are you? I am working on this. Um, yam. Grape. Bilberry. Like, we don't need to be, ma like, growing bilberries. We are swimming in bilberries. Blueberry. Berries. Farm. That actually work. Zero 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 zero. Okay, cool. Was lurking but couldn't chat. Saw some nice cave plants. Is that a new thing? Um, cave plants. Well, which are you referring to specifically? I mean these. Oh yeah. Um. So I was I I turned on auto farm last stream because I care about like four crops. I care about like stuff that we're using. So I set up auto farm to 
you know, maintain levels of those crops. And I was like, okay, good. And then it just immediately went and did the same thing for every other crop we've ever had seeds for. So it just planted a whole bunch of stuff without me actually telling it to. Which is fine, ultimately. It's just kind of a... Maybe just a waste of time. <laughs> to some degree. Because we don't need food. Lord knows, we don't need to be growing stuff for, like, sustainability. Uh, so I'm just going in here and... Whoops. Uh, setting the limits for all the things that I don't actually care about. Zero. Uh, <laughs> berries. Straw. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, grass. Longland. Uh, rat. We. Rat. Weed. We don't care about. Weed. Rat. I am the weed rat. Berries. Fisher. Rope. Reed. I care about. Whip fine, big tail, dimple cup. Okay. Perfect. And if we run this again, we should see a whole bunch of zeros. Yeah, perfect. So then not only will this maintain uh, the big tails, once we get seeds for big tails again. Oh, weavers dehydrated. Um, but we'll start growing some rope reed, which we can also use for paper. And that'll be good. One or the other. They just they use the same process. We can use all the same all the same stuff for it. Uh, who's this weaver? Profession. Who wasn't dehydrated. Did you get stuck? You got stuck because no one's dug this yet. Of course. Can I just... Here. Let's do... Well, let's assemble that just in case. No, so... Like, I would rather they just dig that. This is the exact reason I wanted them to dig that. But, you know. Glad DF Hack told me about it. Uh, giant rat and forgotten beasts. Cool. So long as it's not owls. All these masterpieces. Okay. Someone's gonna come do both of them at the same time. Or no, just give up on both of them. That's cool, too. Bay mood. Very cool. That might do something for us. Utu, don't summon them. We do not need owls. Good on owl drama. some dyed cloth. Very cool. Needs bucket. Is someone going to come rescue my dwarf? It'd be cool if you could just take the job to disassemble this. But I know it doesn't quite work that way. miners doing? You are storing an item. Yeah, yeah. I wish I could take the hauling labors out of our custom labors. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh my goodness. Okay. How do I fix this? 
because I can, like with these, you can go in and change them. And all the hauling stuff is here. That's how it used to work. But I can't change the default ones. Does anyone else want to be a miner? We do have quite a bit of mining to do. Uh, not soldiers. Leather worker. Weavers are gonna be busy. Well, you can mine until all the stuff is mined, and then you can go back to weaving. That's fine. Weaponsmith, woodcrafter. You ain't got wood. Let's do that. Yep. I'm gonna make it all the way. Still just forgotten beast fighting. Uh, and Cog has begun construction, so cool. There we go. No! Where? Why? Why? Harvest plants? Really? Focus, people. One thing at a time. Like, they just keep canceling themselves. Huh. Come on! My god, why? Why is that how it works? It's even like partially mined already. People. Someone mined the thing. There shouldn't even be, like, most of this stuff is, like, priority four, for exactly this reason. Okay, you gonna actually follow through this time? Yay, okay. Now go drink water, please. Okay, I can stay now. Now, if you die before you get water, you're going to eat. Okay, good. Everybody has their own way of life. It's true. Going the long way, sure. Planter has created Urist Shadmal, a bayberry wood animal trap. Ooh, neat. Eat, eat. Prepare to donkey kidney. Of all the things in that stockpile, that's what you went for? <laughs> okay. Healthy, good, okay. You've made it. Um, I do want to start to see some of these mining jobs happen, so I'm going to leave those other people on, on mining duty for the moment. Um, I'm curious if we're going to do anything with an animal trap. I wonder, can we just catch the owls? I don't want to catch the owls, though. I want to just kill the owls. I already have too many owls in cages. Ash plant into slurry. That's good. Is that... Nope, that's... Uh, da -da -da -da. We'll have a pigtail. Why not make friends with the owls? I would if I could. Actually, that's a lie. <laughs> I mean, it'd be cool. Uh, there we go. Pigtail seeds, pigtail slurry. Very cool. Um, oh, so the key is going to be... Um, this isn't going to be just pigtails. This is going to be uh, paper crops. Are you someone afraid of birds? That's fair. I mean, things like owls are just gigantic and can be scary for sure. Uh, I'm gonna add rope weed. 
to this stockpile and remove it from this one. And then that will just automatically feed into here. Paper crops, yeah, perfect. So now both the rope reed and the pigtails will get turned into paper. Said it was their eyes, you couldn't trust them. That's funny. Just all birds. Like, big birds are intimidating. Like, raptors are freaking scary if... Like, I mean, they're just scary. Oh, <laughs> they're big and they can destroy you. But is, does this apply to, like, parakeets? Finches? Little, little junkos? <laughs> I, have a, I have a good friend who is way into birds. Um, the birds are cute. I mean, birds are cool. I'm a fan of birds. Birds, yeah. Birds are cool. And you, a few twitchers. <laughs> scared of dogs. I mean, plenty of people are scared of dogs. Plenty of people have trauma around dogs. So I'm not ever surprised to hear someone's afraid of dogs. And they knew each other, yeah. It's all just crundle junk. What wall is being suspended? Okay, that's fine. You can all figure that out. There's not an actual way in here, is there? Which is, I mean, by design, because this is going to be for critters. Do need a way in for the moment. I mean, I'll just I'll do this, and we'll we'll put it back when we're done. I don't love dog. My partner's family dog gave me uh, made me get over my fear. That's fair. Oh no, no migrants. Sad. I love dogs. I grew up with dogs. Um, I mean, I'm sure a lot of it's just a familiarity thing. If you didn't have dogs in your life as a small person, then, I don't know, you probably, it's probably hard to get used to them as an adult. Uh, Denomination of Whispering has many worshippers. Yeah, no kidding. Now requires a temple and a priest. Okay. Um, does they have a temple here? I don't know if it's quite temple status. No, it is a temple. So they just want a priest. So, yeah, okay. Have a priest. You want your sacred knot. Who wants to be a priest? What's the smart thing to pick for a priest? I have no idea. Average, adequate comedian. Big job jumped up at me as a kid and I have sensory issues, which means I don't like things that move a lot and are unpredictable. Yeah, that's fair. I totally get that. Um, dogs are very... Dogs can be very friendly in a way that is a lot for a person. Um, yeah. Like sometimes, like you'll you'll meet a dog that's just like way uh, enthusiastic and, and jumps on you and you're not ready for it and it's a big thing with claws and teeth just coming right at you. Uh, skilled liar. Why is the skilled liar the top pick for my religion? Let's do... I don't want to put my, my religious people in, or my soldiers in there. Let's do Zahn. Zahn can be our priest. And I assume that just satisfies them. You can recognize a high priest when this is a temple complex. Okay. But I don't think they need that yet. And also I have to triple its value. Jeez. Um... 
don't know why those two tiles in particular didn't get found, whatever. Went into a garden center and a puppy ran up to us and licked my partner in the face over and over again. She was happy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll accept puppy licks. They are adorable. I mean, I... They're different from cats, but like... Ultimately, they just show and receive affection differently. Uh, once you once you kind of get to know, once you know them, then they're they're like cats. So you you can operate on their their level. Uh, I want yeah, rock salt blocks. Continue. Is your religion a funky religion for your dwarves? Um, I mean, they did it themselves. Uh, if we go, go back down, I don't know if there's a way that I can just see, if I go to, um, yeah, um, essentially there's, there's, so there's gods, right? Um, if I... I come in here and try to make like a new a new temple. You can see the list. Uh, let's do something like that. That's uh, sure. Um, and this is a new temple. And then this will this gives you a list of all the things that you can devote a temple to. And in this list are gods and also religions. And the religions are the yellow ones. And they, they do this, the dwarves will do this just on their own. Um, like the gods exist, right? And each dwarf can worship some number of gods and they just kind of, I don't know how they pick <laughs> which, which gods they're, they're worshiping or which ones they really like to worship. But uh, they will also just form their own religions. And you can see uh, this... This religion, this is our main religion, the denomination of whispering, is devoted to Asmol Riddle Mazes in particular, which is another god that we just have. And this is the god of trickery. Uh, so this religion, you know, has Asmol as their deity figurehead, but this is also just a religion for trickery and worship, I guess. I think is how that works. Cause like, I think we have another one down here. Maybe it just all says worship. Oh, that's what they worship. Okay. It's so like the Splattered Coven worships Ninta the Intense. <laughs> the Ace Doctrines worships Osig. Um, but like they're separate from just people who worship that god. Like we will have people in our fortress. Like look, we have 19 people in our fortress worship Asmol. And there's 12 people in this religion. So they're... I didn't actually pick a thing for it. So they're very similar, but the but it's distinct. It's a, like a, a person will exist in a religion. And now we have a, like a post. We have a priest who is the, the priest of this religion specifically. I don't know what they actually do. I don't know what that actually... Uh, what, what duties that entails uh, is the Crundle fighting. Oh my god. Thank you for keeping the cr crundle population in check. Jeez. Oh, are these... Oh, blind cave ogres. She... Oh, was my... Was my priestess a, a priestess? Um... But yeah, they do that on their own. And then once the once the religion is formed, it acts kind of like a uh, your earlier thing. Gotcha. Um, I'm also I'm looping back to that. <laughs> um, but uh, kind of like guild, like guilds. Um, when there are enough people in a guild, they like just kind of automatically request a guild hall. Same thing kind of works for the religions. Once a religion has 
you know, X number of members, I think it's 10, they basically automatically request that you make them a, a space dedicated to that religion and not just their god. So, so that's what happened there is our, our main, our main religion. I mean, that's almost a quarter of our population is in that one church. Uh, so they, so they wanted a, a, a room. They wanted to make their room and they wanted a priest and they wanted to be officially recognized by the fortress. So that's what we gave them. Look at this carnage. This is ridiculous. Um, also the dog I mentioned earlier that has sadly died now off. Uh, she was abused previously and didn't like people, but as I let her approach me, we became good friends. Yeah. Yeah. It's always really sad when dogs get caught in cycles of abuse and stuff. Because uh, they... The dogs never deserve it. Uh, still needing to die stuff, but I'm assuming they're working on it. Rock jugs, oh my god. Do we turn off honey for a bit? Do we have too many? <laughs> Are we making too many jugs? People can be bad people. Yeah. People can do bad things, that's for sure. Process paper, process plant slurry into paper sheet. Perfect. So that at least is happening. Happened at least once. Okay. Uh, let's check on where we're at. Okay, so that got done. So I'm going to rebuild this fortification. Oop. And I could have made that out of jet too. Why not? That's. Mm, yeah. <laughs> we'll be consistent. Roofs are rock salt and jet for everything else. Still inspection. Okay, you have a. You got some stuff. What about you? No. Patrolling without bolts. Tisk tisk. That's all fine, whatever. Why? <laughs> Just dropping logs in the middle of the uh, barracks, whatever. Uh, oh, so we have we have smelters and we have forges, but I haven't made ashery. Uh, we don't have a kiln. I'm not gonna use I'm not gonna use up a bunch of our fuel on kiln stuff, but there is. That's a that's a wood furnace. I do want to make gypsum plaster because that's useful for splints and stuff. And that is made in a kiln, which we have not had, so I'm gonna make a kiln. Mm, slowly sorting things out. Oh, look at look at all the rope reeds. Okay, so we can make paper out of rope weeds. You are currently mashing the rope weeds. Very cool. And then you are pressing it into. Or no, you're working on other stuff. All the honeybee wax. But look, oh paper, 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 paper. We can make all the books. Daylight and the seasons for the beginning practitioner. Cool. Why are these like on the tile of a bookcase, but not in the bookcase? Is that how it works now?
Weird. Uh, oh, the surveying staff. Uh, written portion consists of one page manual entitled For the Love of the Surveying Staff. Okay. And we're making copies of things too. Yeah, so now there's like three copies of the surveying staff one. Very cool. Daylight of the season. So we have two books, but like a couple copies of them. So that's cool. And then we got some some stockpiles here for stuff. And then that's where we're making the choirs. Perfect. And then hopefully those choirs end up in these. Yeah, come on. You gonna do the thing? You're making one. And in theory, yeah, the sheets should be brought down here. Yeah, all the sheets should be going there. And then this is for... That's right, I was gonna put, like, uh, the book bindings here. We'll see if that actually works. But yeah, look, choirs! Books! Things are happening! Hey, look, we've struck more magnetite. Holy cow. Yum. I'm cautious of the lava being, you know, higher than this level, and then just digging down and, and finding out that it's just gonna all flood up. So I'm hoping that we can... see what we can see. It might be fine. This is all, yeah, this is all priority one. It's just, they're just taking their dear sweet time. These got made? Oh, our weapon traps got made. Perfect. Dwarf Beast Hunter Corrupted Stalker. Oh, uh, so they're just needing dyed stuff, but I'm pretty sure that's just because I told them to make it out of yarn. I'm just gonna add some silk jobs. Uh, not a ton, we'll just do like a one-time order of, of 10 per uh, stuff. And that should be fine. And they'll do, and they'll use all that dyed silk for that, and then that'll be good. And hopefully, people will be happy. How's our waterfalls doing? Oh, they're dry again. Why is this? Well, I can fix that. And I really don't just trust. <laughs> I don't trust the our automatic thing. Um. Oh, you just did it, didn't you? You. Override. Pull. You may need to pull that twice. Raid, you're off to bed. Okay. Uh, sounds good. Thanks. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Uh, have a good night. Have a good weekend. I'll be here doing this. Jamming out. Catching, catching beasts. Hopefully not dying or flooding or, you know, stuff. But, yeah. <laughs> Have a good night. Uh, yeah, I think I do need to pull this again. There we go. So we'll let that go a little bit. Maybe wait until it starts to come back up. Maybe that's the indicator.
also purple. Very happy with this. Two really grumpy people. Wonder what's up with them. Okay, here it comes. I'm also gonna put down a whole bunch of levers for all of our new gates and stuff. There we go. Is that enough? Probably... Hmm. I need more. It's very uneven. It feels very unevenly. Oh, hey, look! All this has been done. Sweet. And we're saving already. Holy cow. Speed demons here. need a bunch of levers because there's I mean there's some here that we haven't used I need a bunch Probably gonna use all of our good mechanisms to do so. Let's find our let's find our masterworks. I wanna hold on to the masterworks for weapon traps. Clearly, we don't have that many. We have a lot of exceptional. There's one. There's one. There's one. Okay, we got a handful. This one. This one has no quality at all. Wow. Who made this crappy mechanism? Okay. That's probably fine. These exceptionals will end up in levers, but that's, that's ultimately fine. We'll make more. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do this. No, why not? Control room. Also curious who our grumpy people are. We can sort by grumpiness. We have an herbalist and a bone doctor. I was close to a waterfall. I'm so relieved. Good. Uh, blissful after sleeping in a very good bedroom. That's good. So we've, I mean, we haven't even engraved anything, and people are already very happy with their bedrooms. So that's good. Dejected, dwelling upon being unable to acquire something for f too long. Acquire object. What could you want? Self-pity after being away from family too long. Self-pity after being unable to practice a martial art. Let's see. And self-pity after being unable to practice a craft. Well, I mean, you should be able to take... 
Hmm. I mean, you could do stone cutting. You just haven't in a while. You're an expert stone carver. Stone carving is different from engraving. Stone cutter. Hmm. <laughs> Unmet need fight. Humility to have no shirt. Ah, oh, okay, so this person needs clothes. I feel like you can fix that, though. Don't we have, you know, like a bunch of... Like there's a vest just sitting right here. Yeah, you, you, you can fix that. That one's not my fault. Humiliated to have no shirt. Attend a meeting. Are you complaining about your lack of shirt? Why do you have a mechanism in here? Why do you just have... <laughs> Whatever. Uh, let's check our other grumpy person. You are sleeping currently. And you're in the military. You're one of our ranger dwarves. Self-pity after being unable to practice a craft. Being away from family, being away from friends. Okay. Things that I can't fix quite as directly. Yeah, you don't really know anyone here, do you? But you have a Katie Boar. <laughs> um, yeah, see here, this person is in our religion, the denomination of whispering. Uneasy dwelling upon being haunted by the dead. That's fair. Delighted watching a performance. Uneasy suffering major injury. Learn to value harmony. Oh. Panics relieving being attacked. Oh, maybe <laughs> maybe you need to retire. Restless dwelling upon being able to rest and recuperate. Huh. Uh, waterfall. Cool. Yeah, see? So they just start accumulating waterfall thoughts in their memories. Like... This is from two years ago, this is from last year. And these are just going to live here forever and up the average of their memories, essentially. Um, pleasure remembering practicing at the archery target. That's cool. And then hopeless dwelling upon suffering a major injury. Yeah. And you... Ability to stand lost. And you're a bone doctor. Maybe, maybe you need to retire. Maybe that's... I mean, that's what we're doing. Stukas. Of course, no one else is going to be a Mark Storf. A uh, herbalist? Stone. I feel like we don't need a whole lot of stone crafting at this point. So we'll, we'll do that. Let's see if that, that might help that one dwarf in particular. There's also these two kind of grumpy people, and they're both <laughs> in the military. I'm sensing a theme here. Hard work is the true sign of character. Outpost liaison. Cool. Caravan. Very cool. Accepting, remembering, seeing a wolf man's dead body. Didn't feel anything due to inebriation. That's... Probably a bad sign. Getting drunk and not feeling anything about it. Um, you're a melee dwarf. You're one of our spear dwarves. Believe remembering being next to a waterfall. Gratitude remembering being rescued. Satisfied remembering the ex acceptance of a petition for a guild hall. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's a thing too. Waterfall to waterfall. Commuting with Osig. Yeah, cool. Okay. 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 
Uh, we probably still want leather. We've probably been, probably been getting through our leather. But we have a lot of animals now at this point. Um, I still want wood for sure. There was something else I was going to ask them for. Seeds. Yes, pigtail seeds. good on the rest of this. We're good on eggs. I'm sure we have a million eggs. We can ask for sheets. They do sometimes bring books. But I don't think we can request them specifically. That's interesting. Okay. Ooh. Move goods. Sure. Still don't know why all the mugs end up in there, but whatever. I, I want a honeybee wax crown. <laughs> in real life. That sounds ridiculous. No migrants again. Well, that's unfortunate. Still waiting for these to be hooked up. are all getting made. Is... This... It got paused again. Why do they do this? I feel like that's a quirk of DF hack auto suspend, but it's supposed to like unsuspend things, not suspend things. I don't know what's happening there. Human peddler wasting zombie, an intelligent undead merchant. That's funny. I'm I, I'm so excited for adventure mode. I it, we're still a ways off, but I really want to do adventure <laughs> mode in this version. Especially being able to do it in our our world here, like coming and visiting our fortresses. I, I'm. I'm pumped in advance. Unused dine yard claw. I told you to stop making the yarn stuff. Yeah, whatever. Well, we'll work on that eventually, I guess. Trade. Definitely want your logs. But look at all that. We can't afford all that, can we? Holy god. And that's all you brought, because that's all I asked for. 18 grand worth of paper. We'll buy some of that. Uh, cause this is all stuff. This is all... This is all good to go. This. 
a single large llama wool sock. Very cool. Mm, we should be making clothes in cougar person size, shouldn't we? I think we have some humans. Not nearly as many as we had last fortress, though. Let's... Yeah, so we're... We can, we can grab a handful. Papers. Swan parchment. <laughs> yeah, we'll just... We'll keep it green. There we go. Great. Ah, oh, wonderful. Uh, no trader. Perfect. Done. Someday the digging will happen. I just like prioritize. What? Oh, it claims it got finished. Cool. Okay. We're working on it. Oh yeah, I wanted to put a jet one here. Yeah, I'll just do that. On a poor refuse situation. Pencils make rock craft. Needs non economic hard rock. We aren't out of rock. I mean, there's definitely none here. Uh, all what? Hematite? Magnetites. There's rock everywhere, but it's all like ore and stuff. Wow, I haven't had a fortress get this clean <laughs> in quite a while. Uh, so that means you just need to be digging stuff. I mean, I have a bunch of dig jobs. They just need to be done, people. Like, we're so... <laughs> Oh, you're still alive down here. <laughs> There's an intelligent undead wolf man. Just, uh, just hanging out down here. That's fine, though. Oh, Mang is back. Do I turn off rock crafts? Never done that before. We have rock crafts going, but we are also making shell crafts and wax crafts and totems and bone crafts. Which ultimately are worth about the same because like normal, like all the junk stone that we've been making our crafts out of is just a base value of one. So it's like we you can't get worse than that. How much is wax worth on its own? Wax has a low base value of one, same as wood or non-flux stone. Makes sense. And then bone. Common form of animal remains, as well as a handicraft material. Okay. Although low value, their input is easy to acquire. Yeah, yeah. Bones are probably also worth one. The shell is probably the same. Yeah. But we have so much. Like, we're 
We don't have a bunch of shell right now, but that's because we stopped fishing. We were so... We had so much shell. <laughs> Not too long ago. Um, but we, like, even still, we have all of these bones. And every time we... Like, and we got a bunch of critters, too. Like, look at all these critters. We're, we're culling these as their populations get too high. So we're, like, constantly killing creatures. And getting bones from it. So... I don't know that we need... A whole bunch of extra rock crafts at this point. So I'm actually gonna... I can't just suspend it, can I? I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel, I'm gonna cancel the rock craft thing, uh, and then this will just become a general work order place again, and then our trade goods will come from here. And because, like, geez, we have plenty. More did crundles. Are going, but we're we're frozen again. Okay, what up here has not been linked? It looks like these are fine. That one's finally fine. Let's go ahead and actually open that one, uh, and then close. We, uh, we don't have all of our stuff out of here yet, but we will. I'm actually just going to close this one for the moment. Oh. Uh, but you're good. You're good. You're good. You are not. Can tell siege jokes. Yeah, just finish that, please. Both. And that one's not even set to be hooked up. Uh, but that one's fine. So. I do. Uh, I want all of these hooked up to the same. I want to link. To there. Both are important, please. Yeah. And then that one's good. And this one's still waiting to be made. Then the rest of that's going to get dug. That got made. These all have cages in them. Good. Wow. We've... We've been streaming for an hour and a half and nothing has happened on the surface. Not to jinx that or anything, but... Holy cow. Uh, okay. And look! This is... No? Is this not rope read? What is... It's something. Crundle Apocalypse. How many kills do you have? Military kills. 144 other kills, in addition to the two other Forgotten Beasts. This one's on a rampage. How many? 59 male crundles, 52 female crundles. No, 39. So almost verging on 100 crundle kills. <laughs> and 40 other kills. Ridiculous. Pump helmet, man. They're going to get murdered. Yep. Yeah. Those those aren't too uh those aren't too robust. <laughs> uh 
Uh, okay. So how are we on the digging? I would love for the digging to happen. Do I need to increase its priority? Because uh, there's also... I do also care about the magma stuff down here. Should make another or make a hot key for here too. Key three. Oh, magma question mark. Okay. So they're trying to come down here. Not succeeding. We're out of rock to make jugs. What is... I feel like we're making so many jugs. Make rock jug. Amount of empty rock jugs. How many jugs do we have? More than a hundred. More than 200, jeez. More than 50. Let's, I mean, they're not gonna be consumed or anything. Yeah, we have like 150 rock jugs. So I'm gonna do that just so that they stop doing it. We don't need that many. That means we have way too much honey. Wax, tallow, it's mostly gonna be tallow. Slurry. <laughs> and all our goblets, yeah. Liquid. We have a bunch of water and lye and honeybee royal jelly. 150. Then some honey. This <laughs> is just extract in places. Okay. So we don't have that much honey. What part goes in the jug? That's the question. Jug. Oh, we could make them out of ceramic. Hmm. We have a bunch of kalanite, and we're about to find magma. That would make jugs. used in beekeeping to store royal jelly or add a screw press to store honey or oil. So the honey and the royal jelly goes in the jugs. Jugs make from earthenware need to be glazed before they can use to hold liquids like honey. Well, that's, we'll have to do that then. Or no, because we have kalanite and kalanite makes porcelain. Yeah, pretty sure that's how that works. I guess we'll find, <laughs> we'll find out. Even when filled with food, they will be stored in the finished good stockpile. That's interesting. Jugs are stacked in bins. Jugs can be used in adventure mode. They're in finished goods, really? Am I learning things here? Finished goods. It's obviously all the... All of the finished goods are here. And the mugs. I mean, we have mugs, where's the jugs? I 
wonder... I wonder if that's something that's changed. Oh, this is all, all a bunch of whip wine. Whip wine. Yeah, these are all just... Because they would be stored in crates. just gonna be ingredients so where is our stuff being held then liquid honey bee jelly in mudstone jug Interesting. So, ultimately, I want those things stored with like these things because they're ingredients for cooking. But I don't know that we have <laughs> room for them here. Hmm. That's interesting. I, ha I wasn't considering that. We are now a county. Not that we have a count or a mayor or anything. Masterpiece Cave Spider Silk Right Glove. Cool. Uh, Cancel Shear. Needs Hard Rock. Oh, we're gonna run out of rock for mechanisms. Hey, all that silk clothing got made. Oh, and one of our people went up. Cool. Wonder if they found a shirt. Cool, cool, cool. I want to tell people to start, like, smoothing the entire fortress, but we do have other things to take care of. Oh, where are... Our... There should be a crate full of paper there, and there's no choirs in the library. They're all just here. Lead stone crafting demonstration. Cool. Cool. Okay. We need things to be dug. And they're not managing to come down here. And I can't even tell everyone to do this. Can I do a custom farming slash related fishing, metalsmithing, jewelry, craft. Can't make a custom mining. Uh, why? That's all I want. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, fine. Jeez. 
I mean, I can I can change it all to like priority one, but I feel like I shouldn't have to. Um. We can start linking levers, though. So let's start. Where am I? Here. So I do want to control all of these individually. I'll probably just give them numbers or something. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then there's gonna be this one, and then this one, and then this one. Say this is the web farm uh, line of sight. Web farm retract. Uh, uh, Farm bottom retract. And then we're gonna have head farm trap one. Them started. I actually have a. Web farm line of sight is this one. Why? <laughs> it's just a whole thing of bolts sitting right there. It's real cool, people. Uh, web farm top retract. It hasn't been built yet, and then bottom attract also has not been built yet. The other six have. Hi, a forgotten beast. Huge sauropod with lidless eyes. It has three long hanging tails and it appears to be emaciated. Pale blue scales are a large inset far apart, but where it's poisonous vapors. I just hope that this does not kill our Weber. Nope, it's down here. Okay. Well, who's who's gonna be the reigning champ here? One of these is like three and oh. Kabu. I'm rooting for Kabu. Oh, yep. Yeah. Three Forgotten Beast kills, holy cow. And 156 other kills. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Three.
And there's also this, which has finally been built. Where all these... Wow, look! Okay. And this one's open. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And that means... We should close this one. Open this one. Not that we're actually seeing caravans, but it's a good practice to be in. Uh, and then we'll link that. Call it. These are all used. Waterfall. Here. Uh, outside beast way. Open. Here. We've struck a spinel. Okay, so we're digging. Okay, good, 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 good. And we're getting some some non-economic stone out of this too. So that's good. This is just to make sure that there's no lava above this level. Because there is some beneath. Yeah, whatever. I'll figure it out. Cancel store owned item. Too injured. Why are you injured? No one's in our hospital. But yeah, powder for cast. Okay, so that worked. I think I added a job to make powder for casts, but like not the workshop, so I just had to build the workshop. Um, I'm also going to up like request for thread because we have so much thread that can only be used for like hospital and book binding um let's say like five buckets yeah that all seems fine craft or fey mood you're all the way down here. Oh, God. Uh, well. Good luck climbing the stairs. They're pretty quick about it, I guess. Really coming from the depth of hell, though. Jeez. I don't have enough room for all our logs now. We have so much stuff in so little places to put it. I have to dig, dig out some more storage area. Hey, it's winter. working. Cool. Cool. 
Well, we'll have wax for crafts forever. That's for dang sure. That's definitely like infinitely repeatable. It's been red. Look at all this llama wool yarn. Wow. What are you doing? Leather bags? Okay. Yeah, and you're making plaster powder? Okay. Because uh, there was a job for that somewhere. Was that just a one-time job? Here, yeah. Might just make that a one-time order. Yeah, it's like we don't, you don't need a ton. <laughs> Let's not overdo it. Could probably do some more weapon traps, but I don't. I want people to start cleaning stuff up. I don't. I don't want people to <laughs> pick things up. if it's weird if the workshop for making this stuff is weird being in the, the library zone itself. Uh, Kraftorf has created Ibruka Sibisir. Giant great horned owl bone bracelet. Cool. Neat. Um, let's do this. I'm going to take this zone, the... This is a library, right? The home of stockades. Yeah, it is a library. And I wonder... Written objects... Writing materials... Yeah, let's try this. Let's take... This out. Something like that. Except. So then, if I look at it again, it says there are ten writing materials in there. I don't believe you. Because they're all right here. <laughs> We're still making more. We need, like, crates for, for this stuff. Mm. Satisfied remembering improving speaking. One must always be loyal to their cause and the ones they serve. That's fair. Legendary Weaver, wow. Legendary Leather Worker, jeez. We're getting some pretty good people here. Lots of baby. <laughs> Interested after watching a performance forever. I guess that makes sense. Should we make a place to store our artifacts? Because that's a thing I haven't done yet. And for no real reason. Other than just priorities. I feel like... These are bedrooms for our long-stay citizens. We have five of six rooms rented. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. 
Okay, so we have... We have space, but like... You were a full-on citizen. I don't know why they end up in these rooms. Because we have spare bedrooms, I swear. Yeah. Yeah. Not a matter of not having bedrooms. Can I, like... Just kick you out? <laughs> hey, look! Another forgotten beast. Gigantic scaly shrimp. It has a broad shell and it undulates rhythmically. Its slate gray scales are oval shaped and overlapping, but where it's hunger for warm blood. Oh. I'm not sure I've seen that. You're in number one. Oh, let's hope our Weber survives. It's because this is. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, was that the one we wanted? Description. Where's webs? Okay. Our web slinger has survived. That was cool. This has two forgotten beast kills and 228 other kills. This has more kills than the one downstairs that's just been slaughtering crundles all day. Fifteen Drauthas. Thirty-one elk birds. 30 elk birds. Jeez, 60 elk birds. Wow. Okay. Oh, we need to link these too. Yeah, okay. That's that's also stuff we need to do. Yep, yep, yep. All of these? Yeah. Oh god. That one's done at least. Okay, so that's you know, one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna fill up our little control room very quickly here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this whole. good so far, but geez. Um, I'm gonna go to the restroom just real quick. And we're out of waterfalls again. Hmm. We can at least fill out of here. Cool. need to pull it twice. I wonder if I should just add like another like an auxiliary reservoir up here. I don't think I can make the one downstairs bigger without it being a whole thing. Okay. Did this not get done? No, they're just slow about it. Okay. Swear, people. There we go. Needs empty bag. Definitely gonna go through our bags. I'll be right back. Just gonna go to the restroom real quick. Um, but I'm gonna let this run since, uh, you know, they all have stuff to do. <laughs> so I'll just be right back.
Did everyone die? So what would it look like to have like a backup reservoir? Because it could it could be on this level. I don't know if that's necessarily ideal. I almost want it on this level so that it has like so that it can flow down into here. Of course, we have to we have to build something. But at least it's all dug out already. We could just like close off a big section in here, and this is all dry for the moment because it's because like this is our actual water inlet from our our river, and it's all frozen right now. So we could just have like a gate here, and have this all just be a big reservoir. And then we'd have another gate that goes down into here. And we could still, you know, fill directly from the river, but then we'd also have a reservoir that we can fill from the river and dump into the waterfalls. Maybe let's do that. And let's dig out the corner just to make things symmetrical. Do like sure. Save the jet. Of course, now we're like not having a bunch of rock, which is hilarious. We'll, we'll hold off on building those walls yet. Now they're digging. All right. I was going to see about... Like, Atten, Fath, Az, Momas, Atir. Those are all citizens. Also have like no. We really haven't had that many tantrums. Knock on wood, but opposite problems as last fortress. But I, I feel like I can just remove assignment on these guys, and we'll go and find their own freaking bedrooms in the actual bedroom areas, and then we can use these for actual long-stay people. Yeah, rented room zero of six, okay. Oh, do we need a tavern keeper? I don't have like a whole bunch of bards either. Like where's, where's the bards? Proficient conversationalist, proficient comedian, or a broker. Yeah, why not? Broker can be tavern keeper. Let's see if we attract any any friends. And that's still not getting dug. Uh, what about down here? How are we doing down here? Okay, so this all got this all got dug, and this was all way more symmetrical than I actually planned it to be. But that's fine. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna channel just a little, a little bit there. They're all just hauling rocks up without wheelbarrows, like smart people, whatever. Uh, but at least we have some rocks now. Yeah, microcline. 
Still finding more ore though. All this magnetite. We will never be short on iron ore. Holy cow. <laughs> Moral. Herbalist. You are too injured to do anything. Yeah, actually, kind of. <laughs> Can't stand or grasp. Oh jeez. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the person we had in our military squad, but was kind of miserable, so we've We've retired them. Um, and I think they're doing better. Do not hide yourself behind an unfeeling mask. That's fair. Dejected upon wearing tattered clothing. Oh, yeah, you have some tattered clothing. You can fix that. We have more stuff. I swear to you. Socializing alone in a in a guild hall. What's happened recently for you? Tattered clothing. Very good bedroom. Okay. Dejected, unable to acquire something for too long. Dude. I swear to you, we have clothes. See, even still, that our... Waterfall situation. Okay. I will make this work eventually. making bags. We have bags. The bags just need to show up in the stockpile because of course. Oh, and there's a... Okay, so now we're getting junk stone back up here. Good. These have a place to go. There's just a bunch of hauling jobs that haven't been done yet. Isn't that always just the story? We are dying cloth. We've used... A, have we used all of our dyed cloth? Not all. Quite a bit, though. we finish all those jobs? We did! Wow! We made 10 of everything. Out of dyed silk. Very cool. We, have a, we still have a bunch of leather, right? Yeah. It's all... Metal bars and blocks and such. Yeah, cool. Soap junk. I'm like, this is full again? Mm, probably.
this gypsum? Yeah. Um, like we probably still have a bunch of wood in here for us. Not a bunch, a little bit. Mining happened real fast. Why is Did this happen? That happened. Cool. Well, it'll call it cleaned out even. Jeez. Okay. So I think ultimately we're gonna do like this. Um, obviously, we're kind of out of rock salt blocks. Tin bars, no. All right. Do we do we mine stuff specifically for blocks? Because blocks is like a more efficient use of stone if we're like running low on stone, which how? How does that even happen? Um so then we should we should find like rock salt, because like rock salt is everywhere, right? This is all mudstone. Rock salt used to be everywhere. This is all calonite. This is clay stone. Which we could also do. There's plenty of that there. Uh, we're mining jet from here. Oh, that's right. Levers. That's what I was going to do. Where is. Can we do more microcline? Microcline is cool, at least. It usually comes in big patches. Let's give them a little. Let's just do it. Let's just do a chunk. Is there still like a rock salt block job in here? Yeah, from forever ago. Yeah. We've used all of our rock salt. At least for the moment. Uh, so I'm going to replace that with microcline. Well, rock blocks. Um, let's have a hundred blocks of microcline. Why not? Use the five at a time. That'll happen eventually. And see, they're gonna start digging this like immediately. Someday they'll start working on my other projects. stuff. Yeah, cool. Like here, I want this to be happening. See if that helps. Cave one, we want to link up all these levers. Because of course we do. Six, and we'll do 
or here we'll do a one uh, wrap left here. Into trap left. We'll need more to control flow of beasts through these tunnels and such, but we'll have to dig all that out first. I'll at least get them working on connecting stuff, and then they'll probably have to make a whole bunch more mechanisms. Showing up? Yeah, we're getting some microcline. Struck some limonite. Oh, cool. This is getting dug. Perfect. Yeah, I think there's just so much other junk, like hauling jobs. There's just so much stuff to be done that, like, a priority for a mining job is never high enough priority to actually happen when all that other stuff needs to happen, even though I want people to be mining and do nothing else. What does it mean that half the people who visit our fortress are dead? Well, 
Look at all this stuff that's just happening. Plants, plants slurry into paper sheet. Ugh. We're gonna be like flush on paper very quickly here. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Is any of it in? No. Well, why not? I want like a hundred. I want to say that's them like earmarking stuff and not, you know, it's not actually being transported in. But like, we have choirs, you need to just move them in. Daylight in the seasons, okay. Of course, now I want this to be dug. Making, making bags, making choirs, cool. Both those need to happen. Things have been disturbingly chill <laughs> this stream. We still even even we haven't even finished this. Holy cow. Yeah, there's all of these store jobs. See if they're paused from in here. Okay, cool. What places? I don't know what to do with that information, but okay. Oh, we can check on all who we have temples for here. The portal of leaders, is that our big one? Yeah, okay. Oh, I never dedicated this to someone. Domas and Etor. Probably not Peros. But I can check. Domas, Asmol, Masig, Ligan, Etor. The Cathedral of Blossoms. Neat. Oh, needs bookcase, of course. Hey, there's one. So they know how. They tried. Various messes that I don't really want to clean up. Looks like it's mostly microcline. Down here. 
We definitely don't want to construct anything that requires dwarves to come all the way down here very frequently. Because it's so freaking far. Minus 109. The fortress is at like 43. Yeah, 150 levels is, is too much for like a job. On a, that's like on repeat or something. What are you doing? Constructing? I disbelieve. You're hauling logs. Uh, slowly. What is wrong? Hmm. Um, I can do this. I can do... Do I have microclean blocks yet? I don't think so. No. However, I can say... Edit filter. Uh, do microcline in particular. Or I do block and not just stone. No. How do I have manually use filters? Pick blocks. Blocks on. I want to do only blocks, though. Will affect the selection of generic materials for all furniture buildings. It's like it could use blocks, but I want it to use only blocks. to deal with all our birds too. What are we doing with our birds? Anyone need an aviary? It'd be a pretty ornery aviary. Agitated aviary. <laughs> An agitavery. <laughs> Turkey has been found dead. Have you killed a turkey recently? No, just an alligator. Neat. <laughs> the livestock really likes the temples. <laughs> what are you doing? You're still making more? Okay, at what point do I... Mount requires less than 30. Well, they're, they're trying. My goodness. But how many do we actually have? Like, I feel like... Tools. Jugs. There's so many jugs. Bindings, choirs. Yeah, we have 26 just straight rope reed choirs in addition to some other stuff. So, I might tell this to stop for the moment. And these are 
other sheets. And I think we have a job for binding the books. Yeah, can't use any shop. Mm. I might link that to... Yeah, book bindings can be made anywhere. Uh, but I want... I want the bind a book to happen here. Mm, that's just written on choirs one. Stop making choirs, but binding books is good. Um, <laughs> I'm like good on paper. Like we went from, I was grumpy that we didn't have any paper. Now we have a lot of paper and the crops to make the paper. Oh my God. Uh, we can go into here, mash plant in the slurry. And this can check. could have this check like actual paper instead of just globs. Um, in a condition. What if I just look for choirs? this of course it won't know that all of the mm, they're all stuck in a workshop So like glob on its own is gonna be any type of glob. So we need like paper slurryable glob or paper. Paper slurry glob? Paper making glob. How <laughs> how does that work? might just let's stop it for now right in the slurry yeah let's we'll put a pause on basically paper production for the moment uh we will just have a giant stockpile of of crops here for when we want to make more paper my goodness um, we'll let them catch up with all the other stuff. And since we'll have a stockpile of the crops, then Auto Farm will stop planting the crops and that will all just kind of stabilize itself. And we'll just have a bunch of paper. And it will take us quite a while to get through all that. I wasn't expecting to make it that fast. <laughs> it's usually such a pain. Um, and then this is going to be a loom. Pretty sure. Turn thread into cloth. Yeah. do those in order actually let's let's not collapse anything today
thank you. Yes. <laughs> Order of operations. I wonder if you're gonna come do these now. Well, that's fair. That's because they're all... Because that's what I told you to do. Have all these been linked? My goodness. Cool. Uh, we're also going to put a cage in here. Just, you know, a cage. Zinc cage, sure, why not? Well, now that this is done, we can actually make a bridge here. Is going to retract. And yeah, microcon blocks. We're making them. Well, while that's happening, let's use some. And now it's almost time to thaw again, so I'm gonna not <laughs> open up our waterworks until we freeze again. Uh, but we'll be able to refill our waterfall soon again. At least the happiness seems to last. <laughs> they remember the waterfalls. Um, so but this is gonna be water, and then I'll just open up one of these and we'll put a floodgate there, and then something similar, we'll just want to have a way to drop more water. Probably just like right here. And then we'll put another floodgate here. That should be fine. And again, that, that'll have to be done next year. Whatever. Oh, giant bird. Marksdorf fighting a bird. Oh, it's inside. How do they do that? No. Oh, because we've already used up all our traps. Well, that makes sense. The traps worked. There were just more birds than there were traps. Uh, let's... I'm just going to tell them to come in here. And they should be able to take care of them. You have... You're shooting bolts, that's a good thing at least. Hopefully our soldiers can get here. They're just gonna come up from below, hopefully. No, they're gonna go... Where are you going? I... How about instead of that, you defend both of those. Is that, is that how that works? Oh no! Zaz it! Oh, and then there goes the bird. Oh my god. Uh. Well, here's our soldiers at least. Yeah. We lost two? Where'd the other one go? Here's Zaz it. And Logum? Oh, up there. Dang! Dang birds! And Zazit, there we go, okay. Oh, but here, yeah, so now you are a melee person, right? You have a spear. So please spear the bird. Thank you. Ugh. Yeah, I cursed it. 
It was too quiet. We still have another, we have one more. Who wants to learn a crossbow? There we go. Okay. Hooray, more birds in cages. Make sure no one gets strapped in there. Okay, good. Used to be having dwarves trap themselves with walls was a whole... Like, it happened all the freaking time. I haven't had as much problem with it in, in the Steam version, and I wonder if that's, like, because they actually change something or I'm just getting lucky uh, but we'll we'll disassemble this one stationed. You don't have ammo. <laughs> You're all here. At least they can hold, they can chill here until the cages are replaced, I guess. I don't know that we have, we need to free up our cages. We do not have very many empty cages. We do have some wood at this point. Maybe I'll just make like 10 more cages. to make sure we have them. Ugh, and then... Well, you're still all fine. Really, we just need this. Nobody's a Marksdorf. One doctor? I think you're our actual doctor. Clothers are important. Geographer, wow. Band C. Book, animal, animal caretaker, yeah. Miller. Bone cover is probably important now. Since that's our main craft stuff at this point. I mean, Miller is not that important. <laughs> Has the danger passed? Momentarily. Ugh. How do we make this safe? How do we allow a dwarf to exit the gatehouse to go onto the and walk the perimeter without also leaving it open for birds to fly in? Aside from just filling it with traps, which is an option. put little 
little hallway structures on, on each side. Maybe like do a little U-bend. You have to re reconstruct some of the stairwell stuff here. We would have like a little a little U-bend and just fill that with weapon traps. Instead of cage traps. So that because like I don't care about anything friendly getting through there aside from my from my guards. I don't want to, and I don't want to build a bunch of stuff in here to like block line of sight from our guards, because in theory people can stand here and, and shoot at the birds. Not that they do that very often. Dying cloth, crafting bone, and moral. Still cannot store owned item because too injured. Forever. <laughs> well, that's fine, I guess. Um, how's our beast trap going? Okay, so we built this bridge. Good. And we... Oh, there's even something in, in the cage. I guess that's fine. The forgotten beast will shoot at the owl, right? Giant great horned owl. Works for me. Then I want to build another one here. And then I want to remove these ramps. And that got made, perfect. And you are not going to take general work orders. some doors in here for controlling dwarf movement. Okay. So that's all there at least. We're, we're mostly just needing to finish... I'm going to redesignate all these digging things as higher priority because they won't happen otherwise. I'm gonna hold off on connecting that quite yet. Does this turn into, yeah, okay. I think I've placed all these ramps correctly. We will see. connect all that, that'd be good. Okay, someone, someone's working on it. Cool, 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 cool. So now, this is actually connected, so I'm going to close this gate so that we're not actually opening our fortress up to the outside. Hello, good day. How's it going? Day in Montreal. Yeah, hi. We're we're dwarfing. Uh, okay, that got closed. So now I'm gonna say that this is fair game, and this will be our like our actual access. Oop. Oop. Forgot what is the name of the plugin for those little avatars on the screen? It's called uh, Stream Avatars, um, and it's like yeah, it's a it's a plugin, but it's also its own standalone software. Um, you could you buy it on Steam, 
and then it con it connects into into Twitch and such. Uh, but yeah, it's called called Stream Avatars. And if you scroll down, you can like make one if you haven't. Yeah, no problem. Um, the fact that these are all being dug tells me that I think it's working. <laughs> I'm gonna hop off, have a good stream. Yeah, no worries. You'll know where to find me if you want to come back. In this hole. My god. Uh, I, I mean, this, all of this too. Because I'll wait until the top stuff is done first. Uh, I do want to link. Yeah, okay, these are both got done, and that's all dug. Perfect. I do want to link those. Topper track, that's what it is. Migrants, oh good, yes. Oh, I was worried we weren't getting migrants no more. We went two seasons without. Uh, oh, I do want to see them. How many? Will we get back up to 50? Your expert animal dissector, cool, thanks. Novice bone carver. High Master Wound Dresser, High Master Suturer. Neat. There's three people and a yak. Three people. <laughs> okay. To replace the people we've lost. Uh, but we did get a yak. And a llama, I guess. We have a blind cave over in a cage. Okay, that's cool. Whatever. Um, we were here. So we're because you're linking that, and then uh here. Bottom retract, yeah. Link to here. Perfect. And then that's in theory all of the construction we need to do for our web farm. Assuming we've done things correctly, <laughs> which is not guaranteed. Um, but that's at least the construction I was intending to make. So yeah, oh, we just want this to be dug down this way. And that's where all of our stone is going to come from. Here's all the rock salt. Looks like this worked, though. I was going over all these <laughs> designations several times to make sure I didn't screw something up. And it looks like we're okay. They're all, everyone's hauling stone up, I think. Yeah, hauling rock, hauling rock, hauling rock, hauling rock, yeah, okay. That's fine. That's a thing that should be done. Um, so ultimately, this is dwarf access to the tunnels that we won't want permanently open. So I'm gonna put another gate here. I'm not messing around with doors. Because Forgotten Beasts can do things to doors. Right, here's fine. Or do that. Yeah. Microclone. Okay. And then yeah. We'll have we'll have a nice pen for a whole bunch of forgotten beasts, and then we'll just be able to pull some levers and unleash them onto the world. If any giant gaggle of goblins decides to show up, they can just get incinerated. 
works for me. Um, but okay, so that all... It's all got connected? Yeah, okay, cool. So now I just want to dig the rest of this down to actually connect with cave one. Now that our miners have decided to grace us with their presence. I'm going to hold off on connecting this down to cave 2 for the moment, because we can always get back in here, so long as it's you know, empty, uh, to do that later. And this is connected, right? Yeah. Did all these get connected? Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, we're getting there. As long as they dig the things. Um, I'm gonna wait until they dig this to close that back off. Uh, Fey mood, hooray! We've been getting quite a few Fey moods. I was at our soldier, one of our one of our rangers. This one of our replacements. I think so. I think this person wants out. <laughs> I'm too valuable to be standing here on guard duty. I master animal caretaker. Are you gonna an add a bone carver? Are you gonna carve a bone for us? I think so. We still haven't found our magma. I want magma. Frustrated after being unable to practice a martial art for too long, but I just drafted you. Is archery not a martial art? I wonder I wonder if people in crossbow squads don't get thoughts for like martial training because they're not melee. Huh, I've never actually thought about that before. Uh, Forgotten Beast is have an at it downstairs. All these masterworks too. Cool, cool, cool. What are you what are you working with? All sorts of things. Bunch of cloth. Copper bars. Yeah, bone llama bones. You're gonna become a legendary bone carver and like No, I can't be in the military, I'm a legendary bone carver. might work. Wonder remembering incompletely performing the rites of the denomination of whispering in an undedicated temple. Huh. I wonder what the incompletely part means. Some of the... I mean, rites. I don't know what a rite needs. But there's like songs and dances and stuff that people can do and they require like the you know the form of the song that they're doing will require a certain kind of instrument recruit has created ushdishka ushdishikogos 
Uh, Llama Bone Shield. Ooh, claims it as a family heirloom. Sure. I mean, if you want to make a bone shield for yourself, that's fine. Are you going to actually carry it around? You also have a steel shield. The steel one's better. <laughs> I hate to say, I know you really like that nice bone one that you just made, but the steel one's better. Yeah, legendary bone carver. I want to see... It's a Glar Bone Carver. It's also a Legendary Bone Carver. Zephon is a Bone Carver. Or Novice. And Zuglar is not who we just had, right? That was like Atir. Yeah, Atir. Well, tough luck out here. We already have a legendary bone, car bone carver. You still get to be a crossbow dwarf. <laughs> uh, okay. Ooh, we're digging. We're digging. We're digging. We're digging. Yeah, perfect. Digging has happened. Uh... I'm going to hold this one. Mm, am I going to try to do it right now? I mean, if things happen, it could happen quickly. It could also just, like, be a disaster quickly. Uh, we want a wall here. And oh, some gates here too. I mean, something just like this is all I need here. Because this way I can route a beast from below, either into our, you know, web farm area, or I can lower this and have them just go straight, you know, straight up to our holding pens upstairs. This little, yeah, this just goes up. Mm -hmm. I like a little, little sneakiness. Uh, okay, so I want to link that as well. farm and then so this is going to be web farm bypass and this is east ways upper access oh. hurry up Thank you. And then Beastways goes here. Progress, progress. Inspection. Oh, wow, look, you got like a whole bunch of stuff even. What about our patroller? Nope. <laughs> okay. We're also going to have to make extra sure that no one's trapped inside the beastways before we start, you know, using them. We've also got... It looks like we got all the rock out of here already. Jeez. Some lemonite. I, I also don't want people to like... Because as soon as we open something, I don't want everyone to rush in to try to grab all the 
rock off the ground. And make sure there's nothing actually in here. Of course now, it's gonna take a long trip to get down here again. Oh, they picked this clean already. Holy cow. Perfect. 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 Uh, so that'll get linked, and then we're just waiting on this one. Might even... Oh, someone's working on it. That's fine. And then all of these are linked. I'm so scared of this because we're gonna there's gonna be some timing involved. Essentially, we're gonna open this up, and Mr. Uh, what's what's your name? It, your name is awful. Ours, ours trucking. Gogango. Whatever. Denominated the dreams of depth. Anyway. We're gonna... Basically, we have to open things up so that the beast thinks that it can get to the dwarves. And we lure it in. And we're gonna use some fancy timing on... Some bridges and some lever pulls to trap and divert the beast so that we can put it where we want to. Um, oh, we should definitely close this one. Cool. So what's going to happen is we're going to we're going to open this and the beast is going to come in. And then I'm going to try like ideally this is just a retracting bridge. Ideally we would just retract it while it's on it and it would fall. Um, but I'm also going to pull like this, like probably maybe be in both of these. Uh, just to make sure that, you know, one of them actually happens. Um, there's a delay between when a dwarf pulls a lever, there's a delay between, you know, the lever being pulled and the thing happening. There's a certain number of ticks between those things happening. And there's also a delay between saying I want this lever pulled and then the dwarf going, oh, I need to pull a lever and walking over there. Uh, so you kind of need to anticipate, you know, when when to actually pull the lever. Because we're going to try to time... It'd be awful. We're going to try to time it so that it it's on here and then the bridge retracts and then it falls. And then at that point it's caught. Like at that point it's mostly fine. I'll be here. And then this is like my backup little fortification area. Uh, but there's also another with you know another retracting bridge uh, so once it's here we can retract this and then it will be down here and then this is closed and then the only way it can go is up our tunnels because there's because the because we're gonna open this because it's gonna know that it can get to the surface through all those tunnels and from the surface, it can get to our dwarves because it can like path in through here. That's gonna be what it's trying to do. So, so yeah, um, we're we're gonna close this one. This is, oh, it already got made. Perfect. Cool. Um, so it's gonna come from below and come up here. And it's going to see that it can wind through here and go up and then go up to the surface. And then we're going to trap it in here. And then we're we're going to use these. This, these are going to be helping me time things. This is like my you know, giving me grace to to miss a couple times, essentially, um, at least on this phase. Uh, and then ideally, we just want to trap it in this little straight right here alongside these these fortifications. That's all we're trying to do once it's here. And we're good. I'm actually, I'm gonna like... Actually, I'm gonna leave this open. Because if it comes here and sees the owl... Oh, hey. 
and maybe it'll stop. Maybe it'll, like, it's not just going to beeline it straight through. So, I might just leave the line of sight gate open. But once we have it trapped there, then we're set. Like, we're, we're done. And then we just farm... And, and, and then we see if my constructed farm thing is, is going to work. <laughs> but from there, it's trapped. If we have to raise the gate and, like, block its line of sight, then we can reconstruct everything around it, so long as we don't open up its actual, like, this little cage right here. Um, so we can iterate on those things if we need to. The, the main thing is getting this... <laughs> this beast where we want it to be. So. I think... I think we're ready? I think we're gonna close this. open this. Well, actually, I'm not going to open it yet. I'm going to wait until we've actually caught it in the cave to, to do all of that. Uh, well, we can do that at our leisure. This is kind of the hard part. So these are all these are all linked, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I believe, so we're going to find out. I've known forever that Forgotten Beasts can break down doors. But I always kind of thought of it being like an instantaneous thing. Apparently doors have you know, durability and such. So if you... You can lock a door in front of a Forgotten Beast and stop it for a period of time. I don't know how long that period of time is. But it's longer than instant, I believe. Now, the other thing that we're going to have to be sure of is that we haven't op this cave has not been opened for the entire lifetime of this fortress yet. So there is a bunch of garbage down here. Uh, and I don't want any dwarves trying to come down here while we're trying to catch a beast. You know, that'd be bad. Uh, so I'm going to preemptively forbid everything down here. And I'm probably also going to set up, uh, we have, we have burrows, right? I think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that our burrows are set up as well. Because if that... Because if people run in there, I'm going to be so mad. Because <laughs> they'll just get webbed. That's all fine. That's all fine. Okay. Luckily, it's not a very big cave. And then we have our safety burrow, which should be, you know, mostly fine. Um, yeah, and I don't want, like, the actual... The beast ways themselves are not safe. Thank you very much. Like, we, we do want to be able to come in here, and then that's all fine. Oh, and then all of this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was this? Oh, that's our pit. That's our pit. Okay. Oh, hey, that's getting dug. Jeez. It's been a while since I designated that. This is what I want, yes. We have farm area, cool. Yeah, so that's all fine. And then, yeah. And then <laughs> it goes... Those are quarries. Yeah, I guess that's... This 
is fine. And then we'll we'll call that good. Okay. okay. I never turned these into fortifications, did I? Oh well. I feel like I should also keep my soldiers on hand. You know? Just in case. Not that we stand much of a chance. This thing's killed, like, 300 things already. Okay. Hold on to your butts. There we go. Okay, now... <laughs> Turning on the safety burrow. Or we, uh, I've been doing that through here, through a citizen alert. It's probably going to cancel a whole bunch of things. But you get inside. See, look how fast that is? I'm going to go ahead and, like, tell them to pull this already. Pull. And I'm going to lock this door behind this dwarf. Lock. Because it's open? Okay. Lock. And then I'm also going to pull this so that I can't leave. The other one. This one. Someone come in. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna give them all. I give them all a pull. Might even just tell them to do this one too. One of them's gotta work, right? Uh, I'm so scared. <laughs> okay, this door. We can also do this door. Okay, and then I'm also going to lock this door. Okay, so it's at the door. <laughs> I don't do this kind of thing very often. Oh, I hope someone pulls the lever quickly. Oh god, someone's coming over. Do something. Hopefully it's the right one. Oh, well, we, <laughs> we got that one. Uh, are you coming in? You're coming in. I hope it standing on it is not terrible. Oh no! Wrong order! Okay, that's what I was afraid of. That's fine. I'll pull this one again. Where's... Just the first one. Trap left, trap right, trap back up. Did it. I wonder if it's too heavy. That would be bad. I don't know that it's actually being able to destroy this door, though. Okay. And then, is this... This one got retracted, right? <laughs> I'm so scared of this. I don't know why this one... It's probably too heavy to close when it's on it. It's, it seems to be okay where it is at the moment. I'm really surprised that it's not just destroying this door. I don't know if it's... Like, I, we would see a visual change. Okay, so we can do... Let's do this. Cool. 
We'll make it think it can leave. Not that it's going to want to. Yeah, it's... It is where it wants to be. Hmm. Can I... Let's just pull this, like, twice. Ideally, it would kind of, like, f flip it back. But I don't think it's going to. Other thing we can do, especially since it's a Weber, and it seems to be okay where it is. Definitely not opening that door. Uh, but what if we... Just the one. <laughs> and what? Uh, I don't want to take off the safety alert, so I'm just gonna say that it's safe to be in here, even though it's really not. Especially once you carve that fortification. But I'm hoping I can station someone here and encourage the beast to 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 move into here. Someone coming. They can get down here, right? Oh, gosh. Anyone gonna do that for me? Oh, it's and it's not even a mining thing. It's gonna be a oh look, a forgotten beast. Right there? Are you kidding me? That's cool. Three-eyed warbler has large mandibles and it has a gaunt appearance. Gray feathers are patchy, but where it's deadly spittle. Super cool. Uh, let's close this. <laughs> so nothing else can get in. Don't need to be trying to trap two at once. Is it going to come straight for us? If it can break the door, that's bad. Oh no. Hey, human caravan. No, okay. I was very scared there for a second. <laughs> wow. I don't know what it is that makes some some things be able to fill doors and other things not. Is that going to actually happen? People. Why? Nothing works. connected.
weird. Okay, who's our engravers? Because that's what the fortification thing will be. We only have one engraver. One of our, our spearmaster is a dabbling engraver. It's actually not the worst. Because you're going to be doing it in a, in a beast's face. Um, does anyone else want to learn? Do you have any peasants? Here, peasant. It's easy, you'll get the hang of it. say did it leave no it's just it's just hanging out right there i don't know what's up with this gate that's concerning um i'm tempted to clear the civilian alert just to make someone definitely come down here oh now it closed you saw me pull that like five times right okay someone's coming down Recruit, right? <laughs> it's gonna take forever. Why did I didn't tell you to do those? But okay, that's fine. And we'll just just keep working your way over until you uh, actually piss off the beast. I don't. Since when do they turn things from schematics to? Not schematics. I don't know that that's intended behavior there. But I'll take it. Let's... I'm just gonna do the... These ones, though. Of course, you're just gonna leave. That's fine. Do that. What on earth? Something's broken and it's not me. Here we go. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell our melee dwarves to station down here so they can be targets. Okay, is everyone prepared to be terrified with what's behind the wall? They're all going to cancel their jobs as soon as they can see it. Maybe. Oh boy, I'm glad that door is holding. We need to do... We need to smooth these two. This was not how I was expecting it to go, but I was also expecting it to surprise me, so... I'll take this as far as how the surprises work. We haven't lost any people so far. We do have to be careful because webs can actually, like, do damage when you're that close. But we're not, like, perfectly safe here. Okay. Um, and then we can do fortifications there! And then we'll definitely be able to see it right. Oh, hi, cats.
And behind the door number one. There. <laughs> but see, it didn't even move. Hmm. Yeah, that's not really an improvement, is it? I want it to move. Like anywhere. I only need to move like three tiles. Okay, well. Clearly you all standing there is not going to help us. But you can leave. As long as you can actually get out. Debatable. <laughs> yes, this is fine. Okay. So with that in mind, that means the way that we need to make this work is instead of getting it onto one of these and getting it onto this bridge, I just need to convince it to come down here. Which I can do because I can because I can open the, the thing. So what if we just do... This... I can lock this door, and then if this is dug, and then I can open this door, so long as our doors aren't in here. But I can also lock this door. So then it's going to, in theory, want to come down here, and then all the way up to the surface. I think we can do that. Just need people to actually dig the things quickly before... The soldiers get webbed to death. Webbed. Stressed. Yeah. Oh, they're going. They're getting out. Slowly. Someone's coming to dig. That's good. <laughs> you can do it. Just out the door. It's right there. I shouldn't have carved this fortification, but oh well. They'll get out eventually. <laughs> oh, but see, so you can see it's spitting webs continuously, but there's only ever one web on the ground for each of these, for each of these tiles. So they're not, they're just replacing each other. They're just, they're not stacking. So that's why we're doing the bridge trick. Okay. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, 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 dig. dig. Okay, perfect. And then... Now we just need them to all leave. Sorry I put you in this mess. Oh, then they're gonna come grab all this stone, of course. Whatever, that's fine. Oh, for real, people. I made real good decisions here. Or, okay, how about this? How about... I was gonna say I could have it, like, come around up here, but then I would have to, like, build a wall here while there is a Forgotten Beast out there, which is not ideal, realistically. Right there. We could have it come... All really just th all the solutions require them to leave can they get out jeez look at all these cats there's so many cats hmm what do I do here
a migrant has arrived. Yay, are you coming here to save us? What do you got? Accomplished Thresher. That isn't funny. <laughs> if you say so. What? What the heck? Cause we got four dwarves and a cat here. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna futilely try to pull this a couple more times and see if that does anything. not gonna. I think it's just too heavy. Wasn't thinking about that. Gates are just invincible. Mm -hmm. Well... I don't think I can tell them to go in there and, like, build anything, because they're just going to see it and then get webbed. Oh, uh, what does that mean? I could... I only have bad ideas. Because we could, like... Or maybe even we could channel, like, here. Right? And do that to open... some sort of other path here. We're in the corner, so everything's harder. Except that that's ultimately fine, I think. We like, I mean, we just have to build, which is annoying. Build an upstair, except we can't. Ugh. Okay. I have painted myself into a corner here. Literally. <laughs> the corner of the map is going to be difficult to deal with. I can't lock this door while it's open. Ugh. If I could lock this door and just lock them inside, that would be one thing. almost tempted to let the other Forgotten Beast come in just so that they can fight and then maybe that will make them move. Is that an awful idea? I mean, the worst thing that'll do is kill our Weber Forgotten Beast, which would be sad, but we'll get more. See if that actually does anything. Do you want to fight? <laughs> Here it comes. Boy, what's gonna happen? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So now let's pull this while such a thing is possible. Come on. Now, please. Oh, well, it won, and then went right back to where it was. 
Okay. Well, that does give us other options, actually. So let's let's do this. Against better judgment, let's do this. Because then it can come around. And then down. And then up. I'm glad they have, like, infinite range pathfinding. Because they'll just instantaneously know that they can get to the surface. This is quite stupid. <laughs> learning. Okay. Of course, is it gonna leave when it can just shoot at things from here? That I don't know. Oh, cat in... Okay, no, we need to turn our alert back on. That cat is uh, just in the cave now. That's fine. Could like build like a temporary wall here or something. Well, ugh, now everything's dangerous. Right, because it could it could very feasibly come around and then down and then down. Oh, I haven't actually opened the above thing. So what if we do this? Will it actually try? Well, not link. Okay, let's see if that has an impact. Hey, look! Another forgotten... <laughs> Giant feathered eight-legged... Dimetrodon? Undulates rhythmically. Auburn feathers are long and broad, but wear its noxious secretions. Why are we forgotten beast central now? Well, this is down in cave two, so we'll enjoy. Oh my god. Yes, everyone's getting caught in webs. Okay, so now this is open. That's closed. Yeah. And then, yeah. So in th theory, it can get to the surface currently. By a very roundabout way. But it's not going to care because there's dwarves right there in its line of sight. So, of course, the thing that I tried to do to fix the thing is actually the mistake that I need to deal with now. Ain't that cool. Ugh. If there wasn't a cat in the door, and I could just close this door, we'd be okay. The cats are slowly getting out. There's only two of them there now. Except for the ones that keep coming in. No, stop! Stop, cats. Oh my god. Okay, well then let's... There used to be a way to be able to designate a door possible to people but not animals. I don't think that's a thing anymore. There's only there's only two there now. Where'd they go? Did they go? Are they going to the surface? That's hilarious. It's, it's two kittens. Can someone just come and like pluck the kitten out of the web? Hmm? 
wonder if I like tell them to like station. Oh! Go to combat training. Good luck. Oh, and he like he's going the long way, isn't he? Oh well. Oh, well. Have fun. If it were a matter of just wanting to kill the Forgotten Beast, I'd open the door and we'd fight it. Like, we could probably take it with these. if we had all of our Fire for Dudes here. We have. we would have a good chance of killing it, but I don't want to kill it. Sleep. Well, yeah, let's 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 unlock this. I guess. I just don't want more cats down here. That's all that's gonna happen. Uh, I can make a door. Let's do. Let's, I was gonna. It's gonna take too long to make a. the civilian alert. I mean, it would take me too long to make another bridge over here, but I can put a door down. So we can you can use that to control flow apparently. So that's good. Cleared the alert so they could come down here. Okay, so now uh, alert again, please. Do not come into the cave. Ugh, now all the cats are down in the cave. And the traitor. Why is there a traitor down here? Did you. Oh, I totally forgot about the caravan, didn't I? I don't know why it wants to leave that way, though. It could have just left the normal way. Whatever. Okay, I'm gonna lock that. Hats. Oh, did we... Are we down to one person in here? Oh. Oh. Uh. Are the cats gonna be bait? I mean, if you dislodge it. <laughs> oh my god. If we get to the point where there's only cats down here, then I'm going to let it out. I'm, I'm mostly concerned about our... our soldier. <gasps> we got out! Okay. Oh, let's, let's lock that. Right, and then, and then what? Because now, it's not even firing anymore. Can these cats leave? Maybe. Why isn't it doing anything? It can, can you still move? as anything else can. I'm gonna open this. Yeah. Goodbye, cats. But now you... No, you can you can go down and around and do the whole thing. Why not do the hokey pokey? This is open. I wonder if it is too far. Hey, look, a fey mood. This is all traversable. 
Maybe it needs to be... Ugh, this is an awful idea. Fill our waterfalls and junk before we freeze again. Uh, we're getting grumpy again. Someone does that quickly, that would be nice. I'm going to clear the alert. Oh. oh. It was thinking about it. Where was it going? Huh? You can you can do it. You know the way. Oh. Yeah. No. I believe in you. Can it hear the cat on the other side? For how telepathic I've seen other creatures get with knowing there's an opening. Surprise it hasn't already. I think this will help. gets pulled. Doing too many things at once. Maybe. Or did you just do it? There we go. Okay. We have water. Now... And that's open. How do you feel about that? There's a way into my fortress. You can get in. There's juicy dwarves inside. Oh? Ah. Huh? Ah. door here while I can. Um, and we're we're filling with water. We'll let that go for a little bit. Hey look a rat. Do you want to go out and fight the rat? The answer is yes, but that didn't take long. I could lure it down here, maybe? I want you to behave. I have a juicy owl lined up for you and everything. 
Uh, oh, our priest has made a silver mini forge. Cool. Hmm. What a precarious position I have invented for myself. I'm trying to think if there's an immediate solution to this or if this is a next time on Door Fortress kind of a situation. What the heck? Disgusted after retching on miasma, then leave. Hi, creature. I'm, I'm busy. Right, because all of this should should work as a path. Maybe let's. Does this being open help? Probably not. Expecting that to work. If opening it up here didn't help, then opening it up above here won't help. I don't want to, like, this isn't that far even. No, oh, come on. Really? You really want that door in particular? How do webs get in here? Oh, I guess there's, yeah, there's a fur thing there. It's just so obsessed with this door because it knows that's us where people went. But well, you're all still stationed. You know, like hear people. What if I put them? I can't get in here. Perplexion. It can clearly move. What if I do... let's do... oh, we're saving. I have one last idea, and if that doesn't work, then... We'll, we'll come back to this, because that's a, that's a precarious position that I can't just kind of leave be, right? It's not good. Uh, but I feel like we got close. The fact that I can do more directing with doors than I thought uh, is helpful to know. But also, if I knew that to start with, I could have done other things. But, you know, that's how that goes. So I'm going to try to open this, and then I'm going to use this door to try to lure it down. Yeah. Okay, so you're there. Pause. Open. What do you think of that? Dude, it is right there. You could come down two levels, and then you're in our fortress. You're on the other side of the door. Like that's not even that's not that far. So I don't understand. I don't understand. Come on. Do something. I 
It does say seriously injured, but like forgotten beasts are just like invincible until they're dead. What the heck? Like, it doesn't even want to get, like, leave again. It doesn't want to just wander back out into the cave again. Tasty, tasty door. And I don't think it's actually, like, attacking it. We would see... We would see the condition of it changing. Well, uh, oh, we're not floating our fortress, are we? Possibly. I'm getting close. Oh, except it closed automatically. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Um, I'll just close this manual one real quick, just to make sure it's closed. Uh, but we have our waterfalls again. And we didn't flood. Right? Yeah, perfect. Okay. So that part works, at least. People are just going to be in here. There's there's dwarves in the tunnels if you want to go find them instead of just staring at a locked door. There's like no no movement control beyond that. What if I A, you know, a permanent floor situation. Is it just the fact that it's a locked door that makes it convinced it can get through? Now, oh! Ha 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 ha! Okay, cool, cool, cool. That, and look, it's even, it even ignored that. That's really interesting. So, like, locked doors are bait. Is that how that works? So, let's go here. Let's let's follow through with our plan now. Let's pull this one. lock oh is there is there anyone in here now if there's anyone in here you might be screwed no one below I think we're okay yeah okay no I want to go in please I guess now we should do our alert So that will be pulled, and then this will be locked. Oh gosh. Nope, it didn't get... Oh, but it's going that way. It's gonna go for the locked door. It just... It just likes locked doors. It's so weird. Hopefully this one doesn't break or something. It's so weird. You're so close. <laughs> this 
This is stupid. Come on, friends. We can do this. There. <laughs> oh, okay. Interesting. So now it's going to go up. Uh, okay, so now I want to... Now I want to close this one. Actually, cancel these. Because if it knows that it can't get beyond the door, that's see, that's funny. It knew the locked door was here, but then I built a wall behind the locked door, and then it went, oh, now I don't want to go through the locked door anymore. That's kind of funny. Actually, I do want. Ugh. Then I just want to remove this. Where are you now? You're you're up here. <laughs> oh, you noticed a forgotten beast roaming in the crawl space behind all the door, all the bedrooms. I'm assuming that's gonna get old. Thank you. Okay. It is now trapped. It is now just gonna chill. Where's where are you going now? Okay. Okay, here goes this person. Oh, you better, you better move that brick. Oh my god. Dump the brick. <laughs> I can't close the door. I can't close the door. Uh, this one. Right, because it's gonna... Or no, this one. Is that the one I did? Yeah, no, not you. It's gonna try to come this way, so I want to close this one. <laughs> oh my... <laughs> Another one. Uh, this one's poisonous. I don't, I don't even care anymore. What cave are you in? You're way down there. Whatever. Is is someone working on it? No, it's not gonna. Hannah hide. Ah, oh, we're. So Rude. Who's coming here to pull this? Oh, we're so close. What the hell? Am I like lured over here? Because of the block. That's so, so stupid. Or. Oh no, I told them to dump the door, not the. 
not the block. <laughs> That's not going to be helpful. Yeah, just dump, dump the block. Oh no, it's too late. It's too late. Oh. Now we just have to hope that we can kill it. Oh, here, let's... Are you... Are you melee? Yes. You have all your stuff on you. You have an axe. Um, I'm gonna lock, like, a bunch of these. Actually, it'd be okay if it went bad. No. Come on. What? Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, healthy, healthy, tired. Come on. You can do it. It's so... Oh, I see a bunch of entrails and we're still, we're still healthy. Okay. Oh my god. Well, how's that for a misadventure? My god. Okay. Things have been learned. Knowledge has been gained. Experience has been had. But I also failed. <laughs> I failed to do the thing I wanted to do. But we didn't lose anyone, which is a miracle on its own. I mean, we're fiddling with forgotten beasts and, and trying to coerce them into places that could have gone much worse. Outpost liaison and a caravan. Yay. Um, we're going to clean this up next week. <laughs> Holy cow. My god, well, an attempt was made. I'm gonna make sure this saves before I get too uh, ambitious with my, my stuff. Well, anyway, um, that was cool. I did not mean to go that long. I was, I, 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 I said the thing. I said it'd be fast and easy. And an hour later, it's dead. <laughs> uh, but look, I mean, first of all, I can't help but notice that there are more little dorks on the screen than there have been at any point in the past, realistically. Um, I haven't seen this many avatars on screen at a time. Uh, so yeah, hi. Um, have have some stars. Gold stars for everyone. Uh, we're, we'll deal with that when we come back next week. Uh, come back on Monday and we'll, we'll deal with the aftermath of that. On the plus side, if we can figure this out, I think the doors, the doors behave differently than I thought they would. That's also dangerous to rely on because I'm pretty sure some forgotten beasts can destroy doors. And I think we just got lucky that that one couldn't. But I I guess I'll do some research on that. Ugh. But if we can lure them with, in places with, with the locked doors like that, then we have, we have more tools at least. Um, but all the construction is done. And if we dig further, I've already designated all the tunnels so they can go to the second and, thir and third cave layers. So then we're just waiting for another Weber to show up, and then we can we can try again. Um, like that wasn't a unique thing. That was there will be plenty more forgotten bees that can shoot webs. Um, it's just we had one, so it would have been convenient to just do it. But what are you gonna do? Sometimes you just get a whole bunch of cats webbed into a doorway, and uh, it's and yeah yeah yeah. 
Um, so I'm going to stop rambling, come by on Saturday, and we're probably going to beat Sekiro. So that's exciting. I've been practicing off stream. I'm confident. I think I can do it. Um, and then come by on Monday and Thursday, and we will try to tramp another Forgotten Beast. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a reason I don't do this. I mean, that's the reason. You just saw. It's it's that. Forever. Always. So yeah. I uh, Have a good weekend. And I hope you stay kind. <laughs>